What's going on, you guys? So, Arrow the Truth Big Fish Spence Jr. reacts to a lot of the fake news, the misinformation, the clickbait videos, etc., etc. Arrow Spence Jr. reacts. And yeah, um, it leads me to believe, right, that a lot of the information that we've been receiving has been probably false, right? Um, now, your boy Bushido is just a messenger. You know, I hear things. Then I always put it out as a rumor because you just never know what's really real in the box community. But Errol Spence Jr. came out in response to a specific tweet from a certain fight fan, right? And this fight fan said this. Y'all YouTube MFers have made a lot of money off at Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. This shit is bad. Y'all post clickbait videos with fake inside sources and old footage. This shit is ridiculous. Y'all need to tighten up for real, for real. Hashtag box and hashtag new media look. So, yeah, um, one would assume that he's there talking about the channels that has a broader range. Um, the bigger platforms like Blue Blood, Dante, Fanon, etc. Right. The bigger channels that really, really can post anything. Then here come everybody and everybody's going to believe them. Right. Now, I agree and disagree. I agree with the clickbait, right? And I dabbled with it a little bit recently, more recently, and it really does fucking work. But I don't want to put out no breaking news, and then it's just some bullshit. I, I really don't want to do that, you know. Even though it does work, um, I don't want to do that, right? I, I just don't want to do that, unless it's some real breaking news, right? But other than that, uh, nah, it, it does work. And a lot of your favorite YouTubers been doing it, and they continue to do it, and it really works. If you go in the comment sections and read some of the comments, those, those guys really don't care about the clickbait title. Um, they just want a place to come talk. Realistically, um, I think there's a big disconnect between the YouTube community, the YouTube box content creators, and, and fighters. It's a big disconnect. And unfortunately for me, I'm bunched in with the YouTube content creators because I'm more of an opinionated channel. So automatically, I'm thrown in a bunch with those guys. So... The way I look at it is like this. Um, I agree and I disagree with Errol Spence and these guys. I agree that the clickbait titles, etc., etc., could be a fucking problem. And it is. It caused a lot of confusion in the community. Right? But on another note, a lot of those guys really just built up communities where a whole bunch of dudes can come and just talk some boxing. Really, that's just what it is at this point. That's what I see it as. A lot of these dudes, they do this just to keep the, the, the activity going, to keep the flow going. And to have a community where their fans and their audience can come and just talk about general topics. Really, that's what it is. Now, the clickbait and the satire boxing, I'm not really with it. Um, it's, it. It causes confusion in the community. But this is what happens when you don't have a promoter. This is what happens when you don't have like an Eddie Hearn or somebody that coming out here controlling the narrative for you. So now, guys like Errol Spencer, Terrence Crawford, who don't say shit, um, you got YouTube content creators controlling the narrative. So how about you come out and control the narrative? Give us something to tell us what's going on. Let us know if any of this stuff is coming out is true. They're not going to do it, but this is what happens. Now the YouTube content creators, there's not nothing going on in, the, in, in boxing. So these guys are getting real creative and just coming out and saying anything, right? Errol Spence responds to this by saying facts. So... This leads me to believe that a lot of the information that we've probably been, and this pertains to Spence and Crawford. I'm really personally tired of talking about that fight, but this leads me to believe that a lot of the information that we've probably been getting about that fight probably likely isn't true. That's what I got from this, right? But I also seen what Keyshawn Davis um, came out and had to say, and yeah, um, <laughs> a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all box the podcast dudes goofy. This is why y'all rarely catch me doing one. Don't effing ask me. You know, then Shakur, of course, got into it with Dante from Dante's Boxing Nation. Um, just, a, just a whole bunch of confusion between the fighters and the YouTube content creators. Fortunately for me, I'm bunched up with the YouTube content creators, and it's all good. You know what I'm saying? Because I know the work those guys really do put in. Even though I don't agree with the way that they're kind of doing things. Um, let's look at it like this, y'all. These guys, man, they keeping these motherfuckers relevant, bro. Let's call it a spade a spade. The YouTube boxing community, whether they clickbaiting or not, man, they keeping y'all motherfuckers relevant, bro. They keeping they keeping y'all names 
circulating through the community where fans are constantly talking about you. That's a fucking good thing. Now, the bad thing is, there's a lot of misinformation apparently that's going around in regards to this fight between Spence and Crawford. That's the bad thing. And this is why they need a, 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 a mouthpiece, a megaphone to, to, to kind of control the narrative with this fight. Because now the YouTube community is controlling the narrative. And it, it gets really ugly and it can get really messy. And that is a huge disconnect. But in reality, a lot of these guys are fans come to YouTube to talk about these guys, to find out information about these guys. But it's also up to the YouTube content creators to make sure they're giving accurate information. See, I don't really come out here to give out bogus info, right? When you click on a Bushido Box video, it's going to be some real shit somebody said for real. You know what I'm saying? And we go go talk about it. We not go sit here and just make up a storyline. Now, I, I hear things. Me being a guy with a platform and being somewhat of a messenger, I hear things. And sometimes I hold on to it. Other And there's a lot of things that I held on to that I haven't even talked about yet. Right. But then there's other things that like, man, let's talk about it because I want to hear collect, uh, collect, collect notes. See what y'all may have heard. See what some of the other content creators may have heard. I mean, fans want to know what's going on with this Spence Crawford fight. Honestly, that's really what it is. And really, when it's a slow week in boxing, um, the bigger channels who's really bringing in monetary gain, bringing in that revenue, they got to keep that cash flow going. That's what this is. Part of me, part of me saying if it wasn't really black dudes out here um, talking this shit. Will, will, will it really still be an issue? You know what I'm saying? You know, they see see other brothers out here making money, right? Making making big money. You know, the bigger channels, they making big money. You know what I'm saying? And dudes get envious. Dudes get a little jealous and shit, right? Me, I'm not jealous at all. I'm trying to get there. But I'm trying to get there a different way. And it may take a little longer than sitting here with these cap titles and bullshit to boxing fans, right? So, I don't know. Right. I think there's a huge disconnect. I think that fighters, they can't be sensitive guys, but I think they also need to come out here and learn how to control their own narrative. They act like they don't care, but apparently they do. You got to come out here and come out here in a certain way to be able to lay out the information to where is this and that's just what it is. Y'all got to wait to hear the rest. Right. They need. That's why. That's why. That's why it's kind of good to have a promoter. Because when Eddie Hearn comes out and talks, he does all the damn talking. And then he controls the narrative. He always controls the narrative. But when you got guys like Spence and now Crawford, who don't have a promoter, who's going to control the narrative? Who's going to control the narrative? Well, these YouTube content creator guys. And a lot of them guys, right, are big fans of Errol Spence, too. A lot of those guys are massive Errol Spence supporters. And he ain't liking what they doing. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. I get it from both sides. I agree and I disagree. But I think that all this would be, this would all be nothing, right? If if if, if box fans really, truly knew what was going on with this fight between Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence Jr. Like, subscribe, hide your boy. Peace out.